In the wake of the officer-involved shooting that claimed the life of Stephen Clay Perkins, the city of Decatur has been dealing with a range of emotions. A demonstration is planned for this evening, a day after hundreds of people gathered for a moment of prayer on the steps of City Hall. News 19's Mariah Wiggs is joining us now with more. Mariah? Well, Stephen Kelly, many say that the that it has been a hard time, a difficult time for the city and say some say that no matter what their differences are coming together at a time like this is vital. Now News 19 was on the scene and like you said, many in attendance Sunday night say it's been a difficult time. Those actions were shown as hundreds banned on the grounds of Decatur City Hall for a night of prayer. It has been 10 days now since Stephen Perkins was killed in an officer involved shooting after a tow truck driver told police Perkins pulled out a firearm when they tried to repossess a vehicle. Police say when officers arrived on the scene, Perkins came back out with a gun and turned it on the officers. The incident, some say, has caused a great deal of hurt in the community and an even bigger wave of emotions as they continue to search for answers and seek justice for Perkins. Pastors from across the city offered prayers as it moves through what they call a difficult time period. We decided that we have to come out in front and pray, talk to the people, uh, uh, allow them to at least see that we are praying for justice to be done. We're not just ignoring the fact that the community is hurting, the people are hurting. While many joined local ministers in prayer, others were sending prayers of their own. Some people say when the first protests occurred, the ministers were nowhere to be found. Some protesters say praying over the situation Sunday was a delay that was unacceptable. You can read some of their comments on our website, whnt.com. And after the prayer gathering concluded, people continued to protest, calling on law enforcement to arrest all of the officers involved in the incident. Again, protests are expected to continue today with a demonstration planned for 5 p.m.